Good evening, everybody. Good morning. Um, we are here on November 8th for Sunday school today. And I just need to first make some announcements about Christmas program stuff. Moms and dads, if you haven't already gotten a hold of me and let me know about Sunday school, about what your child wants to do, reading or acting or singing or any or all of those things, then if you could do that like today or tomorrow and let me know because I'll be sending out parts and letting everybody know about that kind of stuff. Because we'll be doing recording next week on the 15th and then the following week on the 22nd, there will be no live stream for Sunday School and there's no in-person class, but we will be having those kids here doing recordings and stuff like that. So um, I just want to make sure that everybody's aware of that so that you're not missing anything. And before our day starts today, you'll want to make sure that you have your November 8th um, little flyer out of your uh, kit so you'll know what to do with that today. Okay, for, so for today we're going to be learning a lot about some different things today about Jesus being the light of our world. So we're, the first song we're going to learn today, we've done this one before, but it's a nice one to review and it's fun and we get to use a little bit of sign language. So the signs we're going to use are thy word. I have my fingers like this. Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I make the sign P like this and you make a path with your fingers. So thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And that's all the words for the song. It's actually quite easy. So it goes like this. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And that actually comes from Psalm 119. Maybe if you have your own Bible at home, you can look that up with mom and dad. Well, the other songs we're going to work on today are from our Christmas program, and they're songs that are very familiar to us, I think. The first one, remember last week we did Away in the Manger and we did Silent Night. Today we're going to do the first Noel, which is really a fun song, I think. And then we're also going to do um, Joy to the World, which I'm going to guess moms and dads know, which is always really exciting when we have a song that mom and dad know too. So, the first Noel. The first Noel, the angels did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay. In fields where they lay, keeping watch over their sheep, on a cold winter's night that was so deep. And we say, Noel, 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 born is the king of Israel. So did you count how many Noels there were? There were four in our chorus, and then there's one at the beginning, too. Oh, it goes like this. Father's love, the angels did say, was to serve to the shepherds in fields as they lay. In fields where they lay, keeping the sheep on a cold winter's night. Pretty good. Good job for you guys. All right, and then Joy to the World, I'm going to guess most people know the words for this, but let's just go over them just in case. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. The earth, let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room 
and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. We do that part three times. Did you get that? Good for you. So, joy to the world. Joy to the world, my morning's Now, those songs we're going to be singing all together as a big group. Well, maybe not a big group, but a big spaced out group on December 6th. So make sure that you mark your calendar for that day so that we can practice that all together. So now we're going to go on to our lesson for today. And our lesson for today is kind of a fun one. It talks a little bit about getting ready for Jesus. I wonder what that means. Hmm. That's kind of an interesting thought, isn't it? Now, remember, you're going to need to make sure you get your flyer so that you can see. I'm going to get mine up here. It looks like this. And it'll say November 8th at the top. Now, you notice on our picture here, we have a really fun picture of some places where we can draw some pictures in. And these are ways that we like to get ready for church when we come to church. Or if you stay at home and do church at home. So one of the things is what I do to get ready for my offering or what I do at home before I come. Now, you're probably going to want a pencil or a marker or something, and you're maybe going to want to draw a picture. I always like to put on some really nice clothes when I come to church. And I have a really good time with that. Sometimes I put on pants. Sometimes I have a skirt on. And, you know, I always fix my hair. I always make sure I brush my hair and my teeth and all that kind of good stuff. And then it says on the way to church, sometimes when I drive in my, when I'm driving mommy and daddy's car or if I walk to church, what do you see along the way? Do you see things that remind you of God? I know I do. Sometimes I see flowers and trees, and sometimes I see birds in the sky. Lately, I've seen a lot of squirrels. Have you seen a lot of squirrels? I have too. Lots of them. Like, they have acorns in their mouths, and they're all carrying them along. It's kind of fun, isn't it? And then at the very bottom, it says inside once you get to church or if you guys are all around your your computer and you're watching church at home what things do you do you say a prayer before church starts i know i do i like to say a prayer before church starts so i put my hands together and i might say a prayer that sounds like this lord help us to be ready when you come amen that was pretty good, huh? I bet your pictures were better than mine. Okay, so when we open up the page on the next side, you're going to see um, some a really fun number puzzle. Now, I bet most of you know how to count, right? Like, if we add one and one together, we would have two, right? Well, that's kind of what all this puzzle is about. So we're going to kind of start at the beginning. The first one's kind of a hard one. It's got five plus five. So now let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness. So we would write a ten in that line. And then if we follow along, there's a bunch of pictures and stuff. Oh, there's some more numbers. Do you see them? Now let's see, this one says four plus one. Let's see, four plus one more would make Five. That's right. Good for you. Good job. And then if we follow along a little bit more, we see it says, oh, three plus two. Let's see. Three, four, five. So we can fill those in. And then the next one says nine. Oh, my goodness. Nine plus one. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Nine plus one more would be 
10. Very good. Good job. And then we have, uh-oh, this is kind of a big one. You might need help with this one. 11 plus 1. Let's see, what's one more than 11? Let's see, 10, 11, 12, right? Oh, good for us. And then it says 1 plus 4. Let's see, 1 plus 4 would be 5, right? Yeah, that's right. Good job. And then I think there's a couple more here. 2 plus 3. Let's see. 2 plus 3 would be 4, 5, right? Good job. And then our very last one says 0 plus 5. Well, now that's kind of silly, isn't it? That, of course, would be 5. Lee. Which for us. So now if we read our story, let's read it together, shall we? If we read along, it says... Ten bridesmaids. Ooh, I wonder what bridesmaids are. They'd be like in a wedding, right? Ten bridesmaids took their oil lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Well, that's good. <laughs> Five were wise, and they filled their oil lamps with oil. Well, that seems like a logical thing to do, to put oil in an oil lamp. That would make sense. Because five weren't very wise and didn't fill their lamps with oil. It got very late at night and the ten bridesmaids fell asleep. Ooh, have you ever done that? I've done that before. Suddenly, at 12 o'clock midnight, the bridegroom finally arrived. Boy, was he late. The five wise bridesmaid, bridesmaids lit their oil lamps and went to the wedding banquet with the bridegroom. Well, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? The five not-so-wise bridesmaids couldn't light their lamps, so they couldn't go to the wedding banquet. It's very sad, isn't it? Jesus says, we should be like the five wise bridesmaids and always be ready. Oh, that would be like getting ready for church, right? Yeah, that's a really good idea. Awesome. Okay, let's take a look at our next page over here. Our next one is another one that's kind of like a, a mystery. We have to kind of figure out what it says. There's a bunch of lines and there's a bunch of numbers. You see all those numbers? If you look, the first number says a 2. If we look down at the bottom, over the 2, there's the letter B. So we're going to put the letter B in that line. And then we have the number 5, and that would be the letter E. So that spells the word B. Hmm. I wonder what we have to B for. Hmm. Let's look. Number 18 is next. So that would be the letter R. And there's our 5 again. So there's another E. And there's number 1, which would be the letter A. And then we have number 4, which would be letter D. And then we have number 25. Oh my goodness, that's all the way at the end. That would be a Y. So it says, be ready. Ooh, that's all what we were talking about, right? Being ready, getting ready for church, that kind of stuff. Being ready for like the bridesmaids were. Good job. Okay, now number, next sign, let's see, is number 19. Mm, that's an S. And then number 20 is a T. Hmm. And number 1 is an a, and number 25 is a Y again. Ooh, I like those Ys. Those are fun. And number 1 is an A, and number 23, ooh, we haven't had that one yet. Let's see, 23 is a W. I see that too. And then number 1 is an A again. Good for us. And number 11, oh, we've not had that one yet. Let's see, that's the letter, oh, K. Yeah, that's right, K. And then the last one in that line is a letter K. 
five, a number five. So that would be a letter E again. Let's see what that says. It says, stay awake. Oh, right. Stay awake. Oh my goodness. We have to be ready if we're going to, if you have to stay awake, if you're going to be ready, right? Okay, there's our last lines. Let's see if we can figure out what this says. Number 10. Ooh, it's a J. Ooh, that's a new one. And number five. Oh, there's our E again. And then we have number 19 is our S. And then number 21. Ooh, that's a new one. That's a U. Oh, my goodness. And then number 19 is our S again. Okay, for us. And number nine, number nine, let's see. Ooh, is an I. We've not had that one yet. And number 19 is our S again. Jesus is, is what? What's he doing? Let's see. Number three. Oh, that's a C. And number 15 is an O. Number 13 is an M. Ooh, I wonder what this word is. Number 9 is an I. And number 14 oh, is an N. Okay, here's our last letter. Number 7. Number 7. A G. What does that word spell? <gasps> Coming. Jesus is coming. Oh, let's read what it says all together now. You ready? Be ready. Stay awake. Jesus is coming. Yay. How do we know Jesus is coming? Huh? I mean, we're getting close to a really, really, really important holiday, aren't we? We're even going to be doing a Christmas program all about Jesus, right? And about how Jesus came as a tiny baby, didn't he? Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, when we turn to our last page, we're going to take a look at seeing if we can do a little hide-and-seek here, right? If we look on this picture... You're going to see that there are five lamps in there somewhere. Can you find them all? When you find them, you can take a color and color them, or you can take a, you can pick a pen and circle them. Whatever works for you. I'm going to use a pen. That's just what I have here. There's one right there. And there's one right there. Oh, I see another one right there. There's one way over here. And guess what? There's one right there. Yay. How about that? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Awesome. It says below there, Advent is coming soon. Hmm. In Advent, we get ready for when Jesus comes. Hmm. How are we going to celebrate Advent? You know, for us at our church, we do a lot of getting ready for Christmas, and we do a lot of Christmas songs, but we do a lot of quiet things too, like praying, and thinking, and that kind of stuff. So, you know, I think getting ready for Advent is really important, getting ready for Jesus to come. Sometimes in our houses we do special things, like we get out the Christmas decorations, or we might decorate the house. We might have family come over. We might even have presents showing up in the tree. All of those things help us get ready for when Jesus comes. That's pretty special, right? So I'm going to have Pastor Kim come and help me do some. We're going to do a fun little game. In your packet today, you'll see that you probably have a flashlight. It might look like this, or it might look like any kind of little flashlight. And, you know, a flashlight, what does it do? It kind of shines, right? And when do we use a flashlight? Hmm. Well, I know when I use a flashlight. Sometimes when the electricity goes off and it gets really dark outside and you can't see, it's a good thing to have a flashlight, right? 
especially when it's super dark outside. But there are other things that we can lose flashlights for. Turn off that light, please. Flashlights can help us find our way, or they can help us see our way from somewhere else. So at your house, if you can find a place that's darker, maybe turn off some lights in your house and, and make it kind of dark at your house, and then you can play a little game with mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or whoever's there, or your brother or your sister. But it's kind of a fun one, and the fun one, it'd be like where you can go, like you can close your eyes and not look, and then it's really dark and you can't see, and then all of a sudden you see this light that shines. It's like, oh, there they are right there, right? So that's kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah, so we're going to have Pastor Kim help us here. Um, we might have to leave that one. Pastor Kim, you're going to take that. I'm going to give that to him. Now, I'm going to close my eyes. I'm not going to look. I'm going to see if I can find him. Can you find him? Is it really dark? I don't know if it's really dark. Oh, my goodness. Look at that light. Now, can you make that light move, Pastor Kim? Can you make it go really high? Look at that. Or really low? Oh, that's pretty cool. Can you make it flash? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Do you know that sometimes people use the flashlight signals to tell people when they need help? Did you know that? Yeah. Did you know, do you know how to do SOS, Pastor Kim? Have you ever done SOS no, before? Never. Well, if you do three really short like flashes with the light, so really fast, you have to do it kind of fast. That's an S. And then if you do three longer ones, that's an O. And then if you do three short ones again, isn't that cool? So like if somebody is lost and they can't find their way or if all they have is a flashlight to flash with, if you do SOS, used to mean save our ship. That's what SOS stands for. But most people understand SOS to mean, hey, I need some help like right now, like it's an emergency. It's kind of like 911 for us, right? So it's kind of a fun little thing. I think one thing I forgot to tell you with your flashlights, if you're having trouble with them, you probably need to take off the end. And there's usually a little plastic thing inside that you have to take out so that the battery will work. I should have probably mentioned that earlier. Sorry about that. Anyway, you have these brand new flashlights now to play with at home. You can play these little games with your brother or your sister or your mom or your dad. And you can just play lots of little fun things, like you can make a clock like tick. Have you ever watched that with a clock can tick? Kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, and special. Or you can make it go like really bright and then not so bright. And really bright and not so bright. So have fun with those flashlights. But when you do, I want you to remember what they say on them. What they say on them is. Jesus is the light of the world. Don't ever forget that. Even in the darkest places, even when we're really, really sad, when we feel really alone, Jesus is always there with us because he is the light. Don't forget that. That is so, so important. So we're going to say a quick prayer. Are you ready? Say after me. Dear Jesus. Thank you, so much Thank you so much for being the light of our world. Help us always remember to be a light for others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wonderful day today, guys. Thanks for joining us. Bye.